that whole mentality of like hustle, hustle, hustle. You should work 40 hours a week and then come home and hustle till you have your success or whatever. We are hustling ourselves away from who we are. <laughs> Hi, so family. This is Melanie the Spirit Zula, and today's topic is well, hmm. Do you remember being told as a, as a child that an idle mind is a devil's playground? Well, I received some downloads yesterday about that, and the opposite is in fact truth. Again, we know that we were actually told so much information that were was full of lies, and now is a time where we are correcting those, reversing those lies, finding out the truth so that we can not only heal ourselves, but make sure that we don't pass it on to the next generation. So with that said, I really started um, receiving this, dealing with my youngest daughter. She's 12 years old. Um, she was in public schools. She was in public schools, private schools, homeschool when she was kindergarten, first grade, and then now she's homeschooled again. And this is because she didn't, never did well in social studies, language arts, English writing. She always did poorly in those classes because she says she did not like them. She hated those classes. But science and math, she excelled in. So I said, why am I forcing her to take these classes that, like history class, U.S. history, first of all, 80% of the book is incorrect, okay? So why am I forcing her to be indoctrinated with information that is not even truth or writing classes or just different classes that she really doesn't need that is not for her. She's a scientist, right? We call her MacGyver in our household. She literally is the one who fixes everything. She's 12 years old and she's been doing this for years where she creates things. So we started our school year. I told her she has four to five hours in the morning to do her schoolwork. And then after that, she is permitted to do whatever she wants. She can play in the yard, she can do art, whatever she wanted. She made sure, she makes sure every day that her work is done, first thing. And she takes long times to just do whatever. So I noticed that she was sitting on the other side of her bed and I said, Selima, what are you doing over there? And she said, I'm doing art. I said, okay. Like she was re never really into art. Um, she likes creative art things, like dealing with science, but just art, drawing or painting. And she started asking for paints and different color pencils. So I bought it for her, you know, to support what it is that she was interested in. So I'm going to show you what I saw a couple of days ago when she came into her, when I came into her room. Now, I come into my daughter's room often. However, about every week she will change her whole entire room around and at first, it drives me crazy because I'm very symmetrical with the, my room. I like clean spaces and she's like all over the place with her stuff. So it would bother me and then I just kind of let her go. Every week she just changes her room around. But a few days ago she changed it around and I noticed something different and I'm going to show it to you guys. So She has all these paintings in the corner. Can you guys see that? So I was like, what is this? So I came into her room a little bit closer and I noticed what she was drawing. I'm not sure what that is up there. And then this, it looks like the solar system, but do you see this color pattern right here? And then these trees, and I'm not even sure what this is on top of it. Looks like some sort of spaceship thing. And she drew this. So beautiful like my daughter has never been an artist so this was shocking for me to see this and then like look over here this is something else she drew let me close my window beautiful mountain and I don't know how she did this but it's like stars and then this is what really blew my mind when I saw these look at this these eyes and over here is like nature water drops it's like a double water drop flowers plants she drew this it is like the sun shining down but there's water coming off the branches and feeding the plants below 
amazing. This alligator. She says she just imagined this alligator and this frog. And she drew it. And then this is this is what really I was just like, whoa. So this is her like little private reading area. She built this <laughs> from one window to the other. And um this is a little reading area. I had a little table for her and she put the table on the wall. She's always banging, so I didn't know what she was doing. And she has this like little glow in the dark moon here, but look what's behind it. <laughs> so I was in her room like, what in the world is going on? So let me turn it back to myself now. Okay, we're back. So I literally had to ask her, Salima, why did you start drawing that? Where did you get those ideas from? And she said, I don't know, I was just sitting down and I wasn't doing anything and I was just thinking and I just saw these pictures in my head. I said, what do you mean? She said, I don't know, I just imagined this stuff so I just drew what I saw in my head. And I said, when did you start to like doing art and drawing? She was like, just recently. And I said, where did you get those eyes from? And she said, I just imagined eyes in my head so I just drew what I saw. And I said, you saw those colors? And she's like, yeah, it's cool. So she's, I'm like, what is going on? Meanwhile, she's like, totally, um, like, whatever, mom. You know, I just saw it and I just drew it. And I'm like, what about these things with outer space? Do you see that in your head too? And she's like, yeah, I saw it in my head, so I drew it. And I was just like, what in the world? Like, really, Salima? So... That happened, and then yesterday, for some reason, I started hearing um, an idle mind of the devil's playground. And I remember as a child, I used to hear that, and it would freak me out. So I never wanted to keep my mind idle because I didn't want the devil to play in my head. So I would always be trying to do something or read something or watch TV or whatever I could do because I didn't want the devil to play in my head. And what I received yesterday is that, of course, you were told that I don't mind the devil's playground. And anything that you were told, you really need to question it. So, when your mind is idle, or when you're not thinking about the stuff that's happening and going on in your life, what really happens? And I thought, well, I'm usually meditating, or in a meditative place, or in a receiving place, or in a still place, and I feel peace or I'm receiving information or downloads. So why would that be bad? Why would that be the devil's playground, right? My daughter, who was not busy with anything, but just sitting on the floor, not really doing anything, started seeing these visions and started painting them, painting what she saw. And something else, she's been asking me the past couple of weeks, mommy, can you, Help me meditate. How do you meditate? Just asking questions about the universe and plants and all kinds of things. And I'm just wondering where's all this coming from? I answer all of her questions, but I kind of take it for granted that she'll learn eventually. She's young, she's 12 years old. And I started saying that no, this new generation, they, they've come in differently. They have us, we're teaching them differently. And we're supposed to teach them the things we did not learn. We're supposed to train them the way that we were not trained, right? We're supposed, we're supposed to reverse all of the things that we were taught. Whether we were taught it was good and it was really bad or vice versa. So an idol mind is the devil's playground. I was so bothered with two weeks ago. I said, okay, she does school work from four, for four to five hours in the morning. She can go to track, come home, have lunch. What is she gonna do from one o'clock to like five? I have to find an after school activity. She has to do something. I have to fill that time because that space is idle time. And you know, the, the idle time is the devil's playground. And it was like, wait a minute. I was really reciting this thing that I heard as a child, that I heard growing up, that even at my age, I thought was a thing. And I realized that it's the opposite. An idle mind is not the devil's playground. An idle mind is our place of creativity. It is our place of genius. We should allow our minds to go idle because then we start asking questions. Why is this like that? Why is that like that? 
and then we go searching we Google, we YouTube, we search for this information and that is what is supposed to happen. And who said, and the idle mind is the devil's playground, who scared us into that? Think about it. Was it the same people that was trying to prevent us from learning truth, from awakening, from getting knowledge? So with that said, I just really want to encourage you all to not be so busy, not Turn down that invitation. Turn off that TV. Don't put your kids in 10 different activities at the school. Look what my child is doing. I have no idea what her potential is. If she wants to do something science, I'm buying it. I'm buying her telescopes, microscopes, whatever it is. You wanna go outside and build a seesaw? Go ahead, here's the material, do it. Allow that creative genius to come out of them and allow yourself to remember the creative genius that is with, within you. You're not being lazy. That whole mentality of like, hustle, hustle, hustle. You should work 40 hours a week and then come home and hustle till you have your success or whatever. We are hustling ourselves away from who we are. We're hustling ourselves away from our spiritual connection. That hustle, 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 grind thing is wrong. We should be aligning, aligning, aligning. Stop busying it up yourself. Stop doing it. Be idle. It is not the devil's playground. It is the universe's playground. It is the most high's playground. It is the all's playground. It is the spirit's playground. It is your ancestors' playground. It is the, the deities that, that love you. It is their playground. That's whose playground it is. And allow them to play there. Allow them to show you the truth. Allow them to show you who you really are and grow and connect. So again, I just wanted to share that with you all. It really did something to me and it really helped me to um, not feel so lazy when I just want to lay down and just dream all day or just be in meditation and not do anything. There's something wrong with that. And I realized that I was conditioned the wrong way. All right. So again, I love you all. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me to spiritdoula at gmail.com comments leave them below let me know if this resonated with you like the video share it with a friend subscribe as i will be sharing more informational videos with you all right love you all bye